all right y'all good morning good morning good morning welcome back to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn that post notification bell so you're notified every single time i drop another video if you're new hey girl if you're returning what's up y'all um if y'all haven't been up to date on the vlogs your girl is a glasses girl right now to my eyes um heal from an allergic reaction from pollen and I hate being a glasses girl, but it is what it is, nonetheless. But I am getting ready to go to the gym, y'all. I just got a trainer, and today is our first session. So, this is what I have on. Can y'all see? Hold on, let me try to show y'all better. All right, y'all, so this is what I have on. This right here. I'm going to put on these socks. Um, I just got a basic black and white, a basic black type of vibe going. I'm going to throw these socks on. I need like a jacket. I might go buy me a jacket today. Um, granted, it's not like cold outside or anything, but it's like I don't want to be like in the mornings um, when I go out the house and stuff. I want something to be able to cover this is my top half, so I don't literally have to go out the house exactly looking like this. Um, so, ugh, I do need that. And I literally don't have no jackets in my closet, y'all. All these jackets that I got, I never wore this jacket. This is actually a really cute jacket. I got this after my third pregnancy, and I've never wore it. It's cute, though. I'm gonna try to wear it. I would have to wear it in like the fall time. Ooh, not the hanger just broke, y'all. I got a whole bunch of like leather jackets, um, flannels, hoodies, jackets, pea coats, but not like a light jacket that I can just throw on um, so that I can go to the gym. So I'll probably head to Nike and grab me one um so that i can have one but i need to hurry up because i am running behind I need to figure out what i'm gonna do with my hair i know i'm gonna wear my belt band but like and put a headband on but what does that really look like i need to also do my skincare real quick let's go do our skincare real quick y'all all right guys so i'm getting ready to do my skincare i really need to re-up on a serum but um right now i have this gel cream and then like a regular cream so pump this up boop just like that just one and wash right my face i really love this gel cream it's super moisturizing so i love that about it and to do a quick um one two what i do is I pop on this one. This is a um, just cream. Pump that up. One little scoop of this. <coughs> and I just put that on there too, to just overly, not overly, of course, because that means too much, but to further hydrate since I don't have a serum. But what I like to do, y'all, is wash my face in the shower with a cleanser. And then I like to come out and do a serum. Um, and then following the serum, I like to do a moisturizer, but I don't have, um, a serum right now. So that's why I doubled up on two moisturizers. And a little perfume for the gym because I might be somebody or something. No, I'm kidding. I don't, um, my friend be like, girl, but for me, just with my relationship with God, I feel like I need to properly completely get my papers from her before I even engage in talking with someone. That's just me. I know a lot of people like, oh, da, 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 and people have done other things, but just so that I know I'm closing out this chapter and once what, once what was a covenant, I'm closing it out. I don't be talking to nobody, y'all. Um, but I got other people on standby. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but right now, it's just about me healing, being the best self that I can be, period. Okay. 
all right guys so i am in the car we are headed to our first training session oh my gosh i'm so nervous y'all um the cool thing is my gym is literally like 28 minutes with traffic away from me so that's good because it's really not that far look at that random kid shoe in the back y'all but it's really not that far and so i do like that but i'm y'all they sent me the workout plan last night and my nutrition and all of that and they are not playing with me do you hear me they're not playing but i'm really excited because y'all know that i already was on a weight loss journey so what happened was back in november um we had my kids father and i had actually did a training session we had posted it on youtube and from that point on i was like i really do want to be intentional about my weight loss journey but i got distracted and i just wasn't really for real for real about it then you know in january when they came to me and my life started just falling apart at the seams um and i say that just so casually but it was a dark dark time in january i know i lost 20 pounds that month literally 20 pounds if not more that month um and once i lifted out of that dark cycle that dark cloud and i talk about it a little bit with you guys here and there in the videos but after i lifted out of that and just started to like live again you know just just keep going so to speak um i was like i want to really be intentional about my weight loss i want to put my health first and since doing all of that i've literally lost over 40 pounds and so i've done that all by myself as i said accumulation of stress but also intentionality healthy eating and working out at my house because i do work out four to five days at home now but once i had reached this 40 pound over 40 pound mark i was like okay I'm losing a lot of weight. I feel like I look great, but I want to make sure that I have a trainer that's helping sculpt me into my goals. And so that's why I was like, let me get a trainer. So this is my very first day with the trainer and I am really, really excited about it. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And so I'm taking y'all with me. I'm going to just have to put the phone on the stand and film because it's going to be high intensity. I already know. And I ain't gonna have time to keep moving and playing with it, but I am gonna record the workout for y'all so y'all can see it. But I am so excited. Putting my health first has been one of the most rewarding journeys ever because it's like every day I get up, I feel good about me. And it's not even like about the number on the scale. Of course we have goals, but it's more so about me being my best self, my best self physically. Um, because y'all know I have therapy and I have different things where I'm like working on all areas of myself spiritually with church and so it's just like I want to be my best self in every area and so we cannot do that without physical fitness um, because your physical health is just as important as anything else well I would say your spiritual health is the most important but um, that's just my opinion though so nonetheless I'm on the way to the gym y'all and I'm so excited I'll let y'all know when I get there hey y'all thank you so much for watching we're pausing real quick to share a little bit about my patreon love y'all what's going on guys it's your girl mahogany and if you don't know already i am also on patreon click the link in the description box to join my patreon on my patreon i share the real the raw and the uncut of my journey especially my healing journey going through a divorce, what that looks like, how has that affected my mental health, the kids, and also details around the affair with receipts. I share all of that on my Patreon. And of course, with my YouTube family, I share a lot with you guys too. And some of y'all love what you get, but there's a group of y'all that are like, I want to know more. I want to know deeper. I want to know just how are you doing today mentally? Some things that I can't share publicly on YouTube. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely head over to my Patreon. It's some of you that are like, hey, I get it. What you went through was hurtful. It wasn't right. And I want to support you in any kind of way. I don't care what you post on your Patreon. I want to be a part. Definitely click the link in my description box. And I have gotten so many comments from people that are like, I'm going through what you're going through right now, or I've been there. And I want a sister, someone that I can talk to about this situation and we can have real conversations. If that's you, my Patreon is definitely for you too. So click the link in the description box and join me on Patreon as we grow, heal, and be our best selves over there. See you on Patreon.
All right, y'all, so I'm in here with Kay, and y'all, she is putting it on me. It's no joke out here. It's no joke, it's really not.
y'all this has been crazy and intense I low key don't want to come back, but I know that's what builds discipline because, baby, it's real out here. You dream body? It takes work to build. Like, this is no joke. Like, this is no joke. You have to put that work in. You cannot, like, cheat. But I know it's going to be just amazing the result. I just keep that in mind, but y'all, she putting it on me, especially those last exercises. Mama six. And my last baby ain't even a year old. The core was like jello. But yeah, so just a little update. I've never had one before. Me neither, but he was just talking about it in the gym. Alright, y'all. So my first workout with my trainer is in the books. It is done, y'all. What a time. What a time. It was really good. I will say, y'all, working out with a trainer, you they really push you beyond what you would have pushed yourself. And that's just period. Because I know if I seen these exercises that I was doing and the amount of reps and stuff, and I didn't have a trainer, I would, I, I would quit. Or I wouldn't go as hard. You know what I'm saying? So, I knew, of course... I guess my first thing with the trainer was I was thinking like, okay, they're going to give me the exercises I need so I can reach my goals. That was my thinking. I didn't even think about the fact that they're going to push me also beyond my limits, which is obvious, but it's just like, I didn't even think that. So today when I was in there, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. But let me know how y'all felt about the um, training um, and, you know, how y'all feel about everything so um and the girl that's training me she actually does my hair too which is super cool and convenient but we after that um i went we went to tropical smoothie and i'm trying this for the first time it's a what they call them a icy bowl or something and so i'm trying that for the first time she said this is considered a snack the nutrition part is really tricky y'all i'll talk to y'all about that um hearing a few right now i'm at sam club waiting to pick up my order for the boys then i got a jet home drop that off and then i have to run to the eye doctor so they can check an update on my eyes because i had an eye infection i'm not supposed to have these contacts in don't tell nobody but uh, i'm supposed to have my glasses on right now but i just felt like when i was working out the glasses could fall off my head and stuff so i was not trying to do that um but i need to put them back in like when i get back home she gonna be like what are you like this is unacceptable but i will say i've been like wearing my glasses for at least maybe five days straight maybe maybe five because that came like last that run on at least four days straight mm. this is actually pretty good so Y'all, I can have no cheat meals. I'm going to go through everything with y'all. It's crazy. Anytime I do a cheat meal or I, I eat something I'm not supposed to eat, I got to do 20 minutes of cardio in addition to my workouts. Y'all, I'm sitting here waiting and where they at? I got to go. I got to drop this off at home. And then I got to run all the way up to Atlanta for my eye appointment. And they only have a 10 minute grace period. Like, I have to go. But this is coconut, strawberries, whatever the Aussie stuff is, blueberries, and bananas. Thank you. That was quick. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, y'all. So, let me head on home. I'm probably going to continue this vlog throughout the day. So. We'll catch up, but right now, let me head to the house. I'm talking to drop the song, shower, then head to my appointment. All right, y'all. So, I am headed into my eye. doctor. I ain't had time to really comb my hair or anything. So, I'm kind of straightened up once I get in here. But thank the Lord I made it on time. All right, y'all. So, I am in the bathroom, freshened up a little bit. Um, not much, but gotta take these contacts out because I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. So, I'm about to take these out real quick. All right, got that right one out. 
All right, we got that right one out. I'm gonna pop that in. Okay. All right. Yes, this is what I'm supposed to be looking like right now. All right, y'all. So I am in actually the exam room now. So let's see the update that I get. Hopefully, she says things are looking much better. And I'm gonna ask her how long I'm gonna have to do the glasses. But I could have sworn she was like three weeks, maybe. I can't remember. So um, we're gonna see though. Hopefully, everything's looking fantastic. Dude, that one was like my eye was like thank you it just did something to it but mm -hmm. yeah it's been going good i mean i feel much better because you know i was really i was telling you i feel like i had sticks in my eyes it was a lot going on so mm -hmm. i feel good okay 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 it wasn't until this happened until I realized that, okay, like my eyes actually um, be communicating to me things. <laughs> because you don't think about them. You just use them every day. You don't think about them. It's not like your physical health. You know, you're like, you look at it, you're like, okay, I need to work on this. Your eyes, you just use them. And then when they started acting crazy, I'm like, wait, these things have feelings or something. <laughs> so, but. All right, y'all. So an update. Um, and then your girl's getting ready to get her something to eat because I'm starving. But an update, pretty much, she was like, um, my left eye is the one that's still, like, looking like it needs more time to heal. And so she's, like, keep using the steroid cream till um, Friday. Today is... What's today? Tuesday. So keep using a steroid cream till Friday, twice a day. And then she said after that, she also gave me some teardrops that I can try to moisturize my eyes. And then she was saying after that, I can give contacts a try, which I'm so grateful because she was like, because you listen. I'm like, today I didn't, but um, for the most part, I really have been listening. Today was just an exception for real. I had, I've had these glasses on, but she was like, I'm going to give you this. This is like a dishwasher for your contacts. And so she said, like, say you need to go out kind of like today with the gym. She was like, you can wear your contacts, but then when you get home, put them in this case and use a solution fill it up and it like washes you have to let it sit for six to eight hours and it washes your contacts kind of like a dishwasher what she called it and um then it gets all that pollen and stuff that was actually causing me to have the issue so the contacts wasn't the real issue what happened was i had the contacts that needed to that i kept in for 30 days that's what you're supposed to do with them and pollen and stuff was building up microscopic and i'm allergic i have allergies to pollen so my eyes was like a, having an reaction to what was on my lenses, causing me to then in turn have a allergic reaction to the contact lenses. And so I'm glad that she said everything is looking much better. She just said, keep doing the steroid drops till Friday, two times a day. And um, then I'll be in much better shape and I can start wearing the contacts over the weekend. But she was like, don't push it. So, um, oh shoot, they coming. So let me go on and um, Go there. They coming. So, who they coming to boot people? So I hear to y'all. Y'all, the guy was coming with the boots, and so I was, you know, hitting it because my time was far spent in his parking space. I mean, it ain't too much far spent, but I saw him with that boot, baby. Y'all know who rolling up out here? Cause y'all know I had got booted last time. I ain't bought to pay no seventy five dollars. We rolling clean up out of here. All right, y'all. So I am currently at Dick's Sporting Goods, and I'm here because I. It is so hot outside, y'all. It's crazy. But I'm here because I was looking for a pair of running shoes because, as y'all see, I'm working out in my um, Panda Dunks, and baby, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I need some actual shoes, and I had one pair of shoes. Um. But they're in like a box and i've looked throughout certain boxes but i have about eight more boxes in my um in my truck not my truck in my garage and so it's like i just have not had time to just go through them eight boxes and see eight to ten boxes and see which one has my shoes in the sneakers so instead i'm like i need a new pair of running shoes anyway because those sneakers that i was using they weren't even running shoes they were really just for fashion but it's like, okay, at this point, I do need some. So, I want something that's either black or white. 
Um, like these are cool, but I might do black. But I really be liking white. So I'm gonna see, or I could do something that's cute and airy like this. It just all depends. Um, I'm not even really picky because they're really strictly for working out. That's literally all that they're for. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. And I can't remember when I shopped here before. I think I can wear boys or something. I don't have to get like women. That's what somebody told me one time. This is actually real nice. I like this shoe. This is cute. But I might have to pick this run up and just go get me some lunch and head home and just call it a day. The day be going so fast, y'all. But I have someone who watches the kids a few days a week from eight to five. And so it's really been working out. I just started it this week. So she's amazing. She actually has worked with the kids before when we went out of town and when my kid's father and I was together and we did date nights. She worked with them, so she's amazing. And she actually worked with them when I was in Philly. So if you watch the Jacks of Atlanta channel, I think she might have been in a vlog. I can't remember because I did not, I don't necessarily watch the other person's content that they post on there. But um, not saying y'all shouldn't, but I'm just saying like, I don't for my own just process. And so, but I think I had saw like a comment that mentioned her. So yeah, but anywho, y'all, I think I'm going to head out and just spend the block on this maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday, because right now I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all this in time, get the shoes, the jacket, and then make it home in time. And I do not like to be late because I appreciate the help. Of course it's paid help, but it's just like, I appreciate it. And uh, um, I don't want to take advantage of the situation by being late. So I'm probably going to just come back on Friday and just kind of wrap this vlog up. Give me something to eat, wrap this vlog up. And I think I'm gonna try kava. I'm gonna look online and see though what they come with and see if I'm gonna be able to get it. I give it fits into my nutrition. But kava was so good, y'all, it was crazy. So we shall see, we shall see. But for the most part, let me get going. I hate that I came in here, y'all, and wasn't able to get what I needed. <sighs> but it's just feels like that. But at least I know that they do have it. So I just need to just come back another time. That works best. Also, what had take took some time is I did have a business call in between the eye doctor and here that I had to take that ate up some of my time. So y'all, time be of an essence. It really does. And when I don't get to spend it exactly how I need to, um, cause that business call was kind of urgent. Oh, that car is pretty. Um, it's just like, time is of an essence more to start. So when I don't get to spend it the way I need to, it can really hold your girl back. But nonetheless, that's from earlier, my tropical smoothie. I need to get me some lunch and I got some milk up at home. That'll be my dinner and just kind of. This is my first workout. This is my first time working out. So I'm trying to be like calm with myself and be like, okay, you worked out. You did something different. You've been working out, but never to this intensity. So you did something different. So your day didn't probably map out exactly how you wanted to spend your eight to five, but it's just like, you're still making progress. And so, cause I can be the y'all, I can be so hard on myself. Cause it's like, when I have something on my list, I like to check it off. I do not like it to roll over to another day because the other days you have things that they need to get done too. So that's that, but I feel like I got my eye appointment done. I worked out, I'm about to give me some lunch. Then I'm gonna go home, spend time with the kids. Once they go to sleep, I'm gonna do some stuff on the computer, emails, edit. Um, and so today's still gonna be productive. It was productive. I gotta get out my head. I just didn't get to do the dicks run, but it's not the end of the world. I have to talk myself through stuff like that, y'all, because for me, it's just like, girl, you gotta be checking off everything. And I, my friend actually sent me something that was so powerful, and he was like, on some days you move mountains, and some days you get out the bed. On both days you are strong. No, some days you move mountains, and on some days 
you just get out the bed and on both days you are strong beautiful and all of this and i'm just like thank you i really i really appreciate you so um i'll read that to y'all so y'all can see it once i get to kava and everything like that All right, y'all, so I got my kava. Y'all, this is my second time having it. I had it one day before and it was so freaking good. And so I had to get it again, but I had to get it modified, of course, to meet what my trainer wants me to eat and stuff. So, but I still was able to get the lamb, which is amazing. Um, but none of the less, I am getting ready to head to the house, y'all. Just wanted to add some ice in there. Not a lot of ice, but a little bit. I'm getting ready to head to the house. Today has been great. One thing, y'all, I reflected over today, which almost brought me to tears when I was on the way to um, work out. And hmm, it was really on the fact of how far I've come. Like y'all, God is so good and I'm just so freaking grateful because if you've been watching my channel for a minute, then you would know when I first came on here back in February, y'all, I felt like every time before I turned, before I started filming, I just finished crying. All I did was cry to my friends. It was like so much, but it's like, I look back then and I'm like, wow, girl, look how far you've come. Like, I wanted to pat myself on the back when I was driving because I'm like, look at you. You're actually doing the thing that you thought you couldn't do. Like, you're, you're living outside of what you thought was supposed to be your forever life or your forever person. Like, you're doing it. You get up every day and you put your best foot forward. You're positive. You show up for your kids. You love others you're walking into your authentic self you're healing you're growing like i really just paused for a second i was like girl you are doing this and those who have been in a relationship for a long long time you know it's a journey but i feel like i'm at the place don't get me wrong i'm not saying i'm all the way healed or i wouldn't even i wouldn't even say halfway healed but i feel like i have made strides you know what i'm saying um, I felt like some videos in the beginning, like you could tell my eyes all puffed up. I'm crying all day and night. And it's like, look at me now. I'm functioning. I'm creating a routine for my kids and I like, you know, I'm able to get up every day and work and be positive. And like, I'm got a routine going where I, um, I'm going to be working with my trainer and then my audio book. I'm filming that tomorrow is two days, Wednesday and Thursday. Like I'm about to have a cover release party that I'm planning for. Like it's all happening my kids are doing good my kids are thriving you know marcel and justin are both about to be doing summer camp like i'm doing it and i just wanted to pat myself on the back because i thought i couldn't and i remember there was even a time where i really needed help um and don't get me wrong i'm not saying i don't need help but it was just like any time that I just felt like I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't get out the house. I couldn't do anything because I didn't have anybody that could, you know, watch the kids. And it was just like, I wasn't at the stage where I wanted to pay someone because of course, when my kids fall and I was together, we had somebody that was there Monday through Friday, sometimes the weekends, um, while we went out and worked or while we did different things. And when I transitioned and when he left, like all of this stuff stopped. And so it was just like, I just started just started with someone coming and so it's like i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of course there's so much healing and journeying and all of that to do left but it's just like i'm seeing the light and i've been able to create a life where if he doesn't show up okay if he does okay like i'm still able to function i'm still able because i felt like i had closed out a lot of ways that that person could kind of bother me you know He's not on my social media or anything like that, like my Instagram. Um, and this ain't to bash him or nothing, but I'm just saying I had to do what I had to do to heal. 
and to detach. Um, but it was like the area with the kids, I felt like I was just left with that. And I had no help. Um, and just through the hurts, the disappointments, I've been able to muster up the strength and trust God enough to have someone that could come in. And the more I trust God and his plan for my life and his vision that I will be okay, he provides for me financially. He sets things up for me. Like he just does everything I need him to do. So I hope that y'all are seeing from my journey that you can put the pieces back together. You can pick up, you're gonna have your days. You're gonna be sad. You're gonna go through certain emotions, but you can do it. I hope y'all are being able to get that from me because it's like, I'm literally putting the pieces back together in front of the world. Um, and it's just like, I'm not all the way there. I still hurt, I still cry, but it's like, I'm doing it, I'm getting, and I'm just so proud of myself for that. And I just was reflecting over that today. And I was like, wow, girl, you're doing it. You're doing it. And as my therapist said, I don't give myself credit, enough credit. And I don't, I'm really hard on myself, but it's just like, I see the growth in me. As I reflect from January me to me now in May, I'm like, girl, yeah yeah you're doing it you're doing it before i know it it'll be six months before i know it it'll be eight months it'll be a year um and it's just like wow i'm doing it and thank y'all for just being a part of my journey for loving me as i try to figure out how I want my content to flow because i've never just had of course i always had my mahogany's world channel but i won't active on here y'all know that and so now that you know we separated and are going through this divorce it's like I have had to figure out what is my content style. And I honestly have found that just me being me and being authentic and showing you guys the real and the raw and the everyday just has been what you guys have wanted and it's helped you guys and it's encouraged you guys and it's inspired you. And I just want you to know that I appreciate y'all showing up for every video, watching to the end. Like I truly love y'all. And I thank y'all for being in this process with me and journeying and doing life with me. And I can only imagine where I will be like a year from now, six months from now. And it's like, I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of I will be okay. Honestly, I will be great and I will thrive and my kids will thrive and life will move on and i will find someone of course i'm not looking now but i will find someone that loves me for me and knows how to love me the right way um and that values me and but for right now i'm falling in love with me and i'm bringing mahogany back to the forefront and I'm letting her shine and I'm never dimming her light ever again for anybody, any partner, any hater, any insecurities with myself, any doubt. Like I'm never letting her dim ever again. She's gonna shine bright. And I'm just fueling myself and I love this space. Like I said, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's just like, I feel the growth. And I just wanna say thank y'all for being just with me through this process. I'm going to bite a piece of this, and then I got to get down the road, y'all, for real. Good thing I'm not too, too far from home. All right, y'all, so here's my set. <laughs> He's so silly. What's on your shirt? Well, I know what it is. It's a puma. Puma? Puma. Yeah, puma. It says puma, too. Puma, puma. Mm -hmm. How was your day? Hey, y'all, at the shop. <laughs> hey, y'all, subscribe. You're so cute. Why are you messing with your shirt? Just stand tall. And look him in the eyes and talk to him. I'm a <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. He's so silly. It's time to get a haircut. What you think? Okay. Huh? Yes. Yes, it is time for a haircut. What do you, you want it short or you want it like long? Uh, short. Short. So what if I took all your hair off like this? What you think? Yeah. You like that? Yes. <laughs> Oh, what if I do? What if I do a little bit of hair like this much, or do you want all of it gone? Yes. Which one? Okay. All of it gone? <laughs> you want to look like that? Yeah. Who do you look like? Yes. Who do you look like if you look like that? You want so you want your hair to be short. You want it. You want all your hair gone. I'm like Marcel. Where did your hair go? <laughs> what you gonna say? Got my hair done. You got your hair cut. <laughs> but your nana supposed to be coming this weekend. 
You want to see your Nana? Yeah. And actually, I think Grandma's coming too, y'all. Grandma, Nana. Yeah, I think y'all, my grandma and my mom is coming this weekend. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do the haircuts. I mean, we can still do the haircuts this weekend. Mm -hmm. They'll just have to go with us. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get everybody's haircut this weekend, except Mavericks. I'm going to probably do... It do not hurt that bad. But um, I'm going to probably do Milo. No, not Milo. I'm probably going to do Miles' first haircut, y'all. So be fun. What about if I signed you up for karate? Mm -hmm. You know what karate is? Let, let me hear your karate. Can you show can you show me what karate is? Wah! Oh my god! Oh, ow, ow! Um I was thinking about signing him up for karate, y'all, but chow. I don't know if he'll be trying to karate Justin. Would you try to karate Justin? Yes. You not supposed to karate nobody. You not supposed to karate anybody. What if Justin karate you? Huh? Yes. What did Justin say? Marcel, chum! <laughs> what you gonna do? Yes. Marcel, <laughs> You're so funny. Do you want any of your brothers to come to summer camp with you? Yeah. Who? Um, them. All of them? Yeah. Wow. How many brothers do you have? One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. <laughs> How many brothers you got? Mm-hmm. That's right. Name all your brothers. One, two, three, four, five. Right. You got five of them, but what are their names? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 So name them all again, because I think you stopped. Well, you didn't do it all the way. So name them again. Um, myself, Jesse. Mm-hmm. And Taylor, mm -hmm. Marla, mm -hmm. Mac, mm -hmm. Mouse, yep. and me. Yeah, well, you make six. <laughs> your hairs are so beautiful. I'm going to do your hair. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Did you have fun today? Tell the vlog bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Well, I'm getting ready to hop in the shower again and call it night because I just like taking a shower before I go to bed. It's so relaxing. And then, especially when I worked out real hard, it's like a shower and getting in my bed and just laying down does it for me every single time but i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog of course we mainly focused on my first training session but then i feel like we had some chit chats in there we went to the eye doctor like we we had a day we had a day so i hope y'all enjoyed it um and i just appreciate y'all i love y'all so so much thank y'all for just rocking with me let's pray lord god i thank you for this day god thank you for everybody that's watching god whether they're watching visually audibly or however they are consuming the content god i thank you for them and god i pray that god you'll answer their prayers god you know what they stand in need of god you know what it is they need whether it's financially physically mentally spiritually um whatever it is god i pray that you will answer their prayers god and give them direction god give them discernment god give them understanding give them peace god all these things we know are available through you so god those of them that are your people god i pray that and those who even want a relationship with you i thank you that all of those things are available to them when they have a relationship with you so if there are someone who wants one but doesn't know how to do it god i pray that they will become yours and take on the gift of salvation and because that's one of the best decisions you'll ever make the best decision you'll ever make and so god i thank you that you welcome us in with open arms despite our past despite what we've done you love us and you will cleanse us of our sins no sin is too big and so god i thank you for those who even in this moment may have gave them gave their lives to you and accepted you into their heart 
So God, I thank you for that. And God, I pray that you'll just continue to keep us, allowing your angels to guard us and protect us as we go to and from. God, even as I film for my audio book tomorrow, God, I thank you that you've already gone before me and you've given me the words to say and the way to say them to pierce the hearts of your people in the way that you've called for me to do it. And so God, I thank you and even pray over our purposes right now, God. Each and every one of us have a purpose, a unique reason why we've been placed on this earth. And so God, I pray that we'll learn to and grow to understand it more and if there's somebody that doesn't know what the purpose is that god they will discover it god however you need to reveal it to them so lord we love you we honor you we adore you we appreciate you we thank you for being god and god alone we thank you that your best work is not behind us but your best work in our lives is actually ahead of us so lord we thank you we love you and we honor you we pray over any sickness and God, we cease it. And God, we cast it down to the pit of hell, God. And only, and, and, and we speak that our health shall flourish. And not just physically, but emotionally and in every area of our life. So Lord, I thank you for everything that you're doing. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, y'all. Well, I love y'all so, so, so much. I'm about to hop in the shower and call it a night. I'm actually excited about getting to bed and going to bed. I'm excited about it today. So we got a big day. We actually have a big week and so ahead of us. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful y'all just don't know. And I know the best is yet to come from me and also for you. So see y'all in the next vlog. I love y'all.